The Earth's atmosphere is what makes life on Earth possible. This atmosphere protects us from harmful radiations of the sun and helps maintain the Earth's temperature by trapping some of the heat that enters the atmosphere. The Earth's atmosphere is divided into five layers, depending upon the temperature. The second layer, known as stratosphere, holds a very important shield that protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation and only lets in the good rays. This important shield is known as the ozone layer. Ozone is a gas with three atoms of oxygen in a molecule, and the formula is O3. The highest concentration of the ozone gas is found in the stratosphere, but its amount is still less compared to the other gases present in the stratosphere. Despite its small amount, the ozone layer performs a very important function. It blocks the harmful ultraviolet radiations of the sun from reaching the Earth's surface. The ultraviolet radiations of the sun can be very harmful for us. It can cause skin cancer, blindness, a weak immune system, and many other diseases. The ozone layer protects us from these harmful ultraviolet rays by absorbing about 98% of them. But due to human activities, this protective layer is in danger. In the 1980s, Scientists discovered that the amount of ozone gas in the Earth's atmosphere had decreased. It was also reported that 70% of the ozone layer was reduced above Antarctica. This reduction of the ozone layer was referred to as ozone depletion, or the ozone hole. The depletion of the ozone layer is mainly caused by chemicals such as chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs hydrofluorocarbons, and other ozone-depleting substances. These chemicals are mostly found in sprays, refrigerants used in air conditioners, and refrigerators, and plastic products. Chlorofluorocarbons are molecules made up of chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. When a chlorofluorocarbon molecule is released into the Earth's atmosphere, the ultraviolet rays of the sun cause it to break up and release a chlorine atom. The ozone molecule is highly reactive. As it reacts with the chlorine atom, it produces a single oxygen molecule and chlorine monoxide. Chlorine monoxide further reacts with another ozone molecule to produce another chlorine atom, which further reacts with more ozone molecules. The chlorine atom is highly reactive. This results in the thinning of the ozone layer in the atmosphere. As a result, the harmful ultraviolet rays penetrate through the atmosphere and reach the Earth's surface. These harmful rays may affect human health by causing skin cancer, blindness, and a weak immune system. These rays also affect plant growth and ocean life thus disturbing the entire ecosystem. In 2016, it was reported that the amount of chlorine and other ozone-depleting substances in the atmosphere had been reduced, and the ozone hole was gradually healing. It is estimated that if we continue to take measures to heal the ozone layer by prohibiting the use of ozone-depleting substances, the level of ozone will return to the pre-1980s levels by 2075. Let's summarize what we have learned today. The ozone layer is present in the stratosphere, the second layer of the Earth's atmosphere. The ozone layer absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and prevents them from reaching the Earth's surface. The ultraviolet radiations of the sun can cause skin cancer, blindness, and other harmful diseases. They can also affect the growth of plants. Chlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, and other ozone-depleting substances from refrigerants, sprays, and plastic materials react with the ozone molecules in the stratosphere. This results in the depletion of the ozone layer.
The use of ozone-depleting substances should be banned in order to prevent the ozone layer from disappearing completely.